Hey, it's Aaron the Hope from Mobile Reviews 8.c and today we're going to take a closer look at a couple of cases from Notice. We've got an access case for the iPhone 6 as well as an access case for the iPad. Notice was awesome enough to send us these cases to a review and generally we like them. Now if my fancy tie and these fancy cases isn't enough to keep you interested in this video, I am also going to use the word suction a lot in it. So. Maybe stick around. The access cases for the iPhone 6 and iPad Air are quite unique as the device attaches to the cases through the use of micro suction technology. They are leather cases that definitely add a bit of class to your devices and were definitely sold on the iPhone 6 version of the case, but there's a usability issue with the iPad version that we're not quite over yet. Now based on our time with these accessories, we don't really have a, a scoring system. We, don't, we haven't reviewed enough of these kinds of products to be able to say which one's better or which one's worse, but we're definitely going to give the iPhone 6 case, the access case, two thumbs up, and this is almost two thumbs up. There's just one thing that really bothers me about it. If you'd rather read the rest of this review, head over to our website as we've got the written portion and there's going to be lots more pictures than just me talking in a pink shirt. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviews8.ca At MobileReviews8.ca we base our reviews on actual usage. So when a company such as Notice says that, hey, we've our, our cases have suction technology, we're, we're going to find out how suctiony it really is. And to be honest with you, is it that suctiony? <laughs> yeah, iPhone was fine. That was a lot of uh, jostling around. Let's try the iPad. Now I'm pretty sure I know why the iPhone 6 version came flying out. My iPhone 6, the screen protector is cracked, but that's not a fault of this case. I've actually reapplied this iPhone to this case probably a good dozen times in the last two weeks. And so dust and debris do get to the uh, micro suction pad and you can easily clean it. The iPad that I just shook, this has been in from day one. So there is no reason why I do truly believe that you're not going to have any issues with the micro suction technology, not like I just had now because, well, I've been taking it on and off so much that I really do need to clean it. In terms of design, these are fairly low profile leather cases. There is an outer leather exterior with a microfiber inset. Unlike other leather accessories that we've seen, the stitching is pretty solid and the entire case seems very well built. Case will wear as well as any leather case as the initial period will showcase some scratches quite easily, but they do wear better over time. The micro suction technology works well. According to Notice, their pads on their cases contain millions of microscopic suction cups which grip to a device by forming millions of partial vacuums. Those are very fancy words and I still can't quite picture what partial vacuums would look like. These micro suction pads are a little more user friendly when compared to other adhesive based cases as they're not quite sticky to your hand. They can handle a bit of grease as evidenced by my iPhone 6 flying out before needing to be cleaned, but cleaning is quite simple as all you have to do is wipe it down with a damp microfiber cloth. In terms of protection, the access cases will fare better than some portfolio style cases if dropped because the case isn't going to flay apart. There isn't anything protecting the edges of your iPhone which is a downside of this style of case, though there is a bit of a distance between the iPhone and the edge of the case so it's something that most people aren't going to have to worry about. With that being said, not having a cradle makes these notice cases look way better than other cases with cradles like the 12 South book book. Now in terms of functionality, we wouldn't consider this as a uh, wallet case. There is a pocket for you to put stuff in here and we were we would put maybe one or two cards at most, maybe a couple bills. It's not, so you can't stack a lot of stuff into it. And the more stuff that you put into it, the less contact that you're uh, front suction pad has with your iPhone screen, so it has more of a tendency to pop up. The iPad Air version, though similarly designed, doesn't look like it was really meant to keep much in terms of that little sleeve. One of the nicer things that I noticed with the Notice case is when you're taking a phone call, you can bend the case up like this. So a lot of the other cases will force you to bend it outwards like so, and so it's exposing whatever cards, whatever cash. You're basically telling everybody, hey, look at what I have in my wallet iPhone case or pseudo wallet iPhone case. With the Notice one, there is a bit of a fold and you can kind of fold it in like this and so you're kind of hiding everything that you're kind of keeping in that little pocket on the case. I personally think this is a, a nice design feature we'll say. Now at the beginning of the video I did mention that I, there was something about the iPad version that I didn't like and that has to do with the lack of magnets on the side of this case. Now all the smart covers for the iPads ever since I don't know I think the second generation of the iPads when you close the iPad cover it puts the iPad to sleep. This well I can turn it on it's a nice picture of Monty. I can close this uh, 
case and open it up again and the iPad's still on. So it doesn't actually shut it off. I'm not a big fan of that because this notice case is changing how I use the iPad, right? You, you, I'm so used to just slapping the cover, having the iPad go to sleep. It's not a big deal breaker, but it's something that I noticed and it's something that's stuck in my head. The iPad version also has a crease and you're not gonna try to put that to your head, but you can easily set it up as a hands-free viewing platform. So that's all I got for the notice cases. I'm actually gonna go clean the iPhone 6 version and maybe I'll put it at the end of bloopers to make sure that, well, this works as it should. Anyways, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, find us on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Yes, I am wearing a shirt and a tie. It's a pink shirt, it's a pink tie, but one of the things you don't realize is that I'm wearing like grungy gym pants underneath it all. You can't see the bottom part of my uh, torso, so I won't wear anything I want. Thanks for watching. So it's been a few days since I filmed the earlier part of this review. I think it's been about three days. It's Sunday morning right now, and I think I filmed that Wednesday night. Um, so the Notice, I went and cleaned the Notice. Well, I had to for the video, and I went and reinstalled my iPhone into it. And so in the video, well, it fell off. Right now, there is no way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there is no way this thing is coming out. I thought it was coming out because the because of the flappy there, but like the suction stuff, it's in there pretty good. Like even taking it off right now, like it's pretty tight to take off. Um, so all in all, like I, what happened in the video, it's because the suction pads, I reinstalled it a good dozen times. I just went and cleaned them. So it's all good to go. I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Again, I like it a lot. The iPhone version anyways. Thanks.